you so much for coming to uh, Hearsay, uh, Global Stories of Aging and Connection, Volume 2, Round 2. Um, tonight you're going to hear excerpts from the book, as well as seeing a, a sneak peek from an upcoming documentary film. So we're really glad that you're all here. Uh, my name is Cliff Mayotte. I'm the Education Program Director for an organization called Voice of Witness. And I know most people in this room are, are already very familiar with Voice of Witness, but, but if not, we are a nonprofit that advances human rights by amplifying the voices of people impacted by injustice. And we do that through our oral history book series and education program. And after the program tonight, happy to talk more about the hows and whys and wherefores of what we do. Uh, but tonight we're really celebrating our work with the Global Brain Health Institute, the Memory and Aging Center, um, and Hearsay. And this is actually an interesting homecoming because this project actually began almost four years ago in this room where I was standing at this podium saying, hi, my name's Cliff Mayotte. I'm the Education Program Director for Voice of Witness, and we'd like to, you know, blah, 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 blah. And just to provide a little bit of context, we started this work um, with the Memory and Aging Center uh, as the Hellman uh, Artist in Residence uh, Program in 2016 and 2017. And we spent a lot of time uh, with uh, staff members here at the MAC and family, family members, caregivers. I basically created a large scale, scale oral history project we called Hearsay. And it had to do with oral history trainings, editing workshops, and everybody from the MAC fanned out amongst various places in their community and conducted these amazing oral history interviews, um, which was the first volume of Hearsay, which was published a couple of years ago. And we did a, a, an event very much like the one you're going to experience tonight, and it really felt like kind of a game changer for uh, the MAC and for Voice of Witness, because um, I think for the MAC, you know, having an opportunity to experience the more creative aspects of healthcare, and for an organization like Voice of Witness, for us to experience the more caregiving aspects of storytelling. And so after that, after that program ended, it took us less than a week to gather ourselves up again and say, okay, what's next? And what's next turned out to be an expansion of the Hearsay Project to include uh, GBHI partners in Dublin, um, as well as here in San Francisco, and two trainings that um, took place with members of, of Trinity College, GBHI folks at Trinity College, as well as here in the MAC, but primarily working with the Atlantic Fellows, the GBHI Atlantic Fellows. And many of the fellows are here tonight. Many of the fellows uh, contributed mightily to this book, and the majority of the interviews were actually conducted by by fellows, uh, as well as staffers at the MAC and at Trinity College. So that's kind of the, the, the context for what we're going to do. Um, and I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, I think that's I think that's it. I think we'll get right into it. Uh, my only other task at this point is to advance the slide with the space bar. And I think I can handle that. Um, so thank you all again for coming. Look forward to talking with all of you after uh, at our reception. So welcome to Hearsay.